Welcome to Denver. Here we are exploring all the different ways you can stay in the Mile High City. From playful and funky to sophisticated and elegant, there's a property for everyone. So come on, let's get started. First stop, the Moxie Denver Cherry Creek. It's funky and a little bit playful. They even greet you at check-in with a cocktail. How's that for a start? Talk about kicking it off in the right way. One of the awesome things about the Moxie Hotels is that when you check in, they actually greet you with a cocktail. So there's a cheers to a little welcome cocktail and um, exploring a little bit more. Every floor is inspired by a different childhood game. Pictures drawn in chalk on the walls of the gym, the vibe is all about having fun. With a clean, minimal design, the rooms have quirky touches. Oh, and I love all the little designs. Here, for example, we've got this really cool phone. So retro. And you can just press the buttons. And even better, press here for bedtime stories. With creative communal spaces, a colorful lobby that's so Instagrammable, and a bar that's always busy, I actually wanted to hang out outside of my room. Everything about the Moxie is lively, which is part of its charm. It's a unique experience for the modern day traveler. Much more than a cozy room, it's a prime spot for mingling too. Now the Lo Meridian in downtown Denver is a bit different and all about design. There's art everywhere. It's another impressive property and I'm just gonna show you. It's a mix of chic, fresh, minimal, yet sophisticated. Now we're exploring one of the rooms here at the Lo Meridian. I am loving this design. A little bit more feminine, great use of lines, color, and very comfortable. You can hit the lobbyist bar to grab a drink, get some work done, or catch up with friends. And Corinne Restaurant knocks it out of the park with fun twists on American comfort food. My favorites were the lobster mac and cheese, the buffalo cauliflower, and the don't worry, be happy cocktail. Plus, be sure to head to the 5430 rooftop bar. It's worth the visit for the views alone. The minute I walked into the Ritz-Carlton Denver, I was ready to be spoiled. In true Ritz-Carlton fashion, everything about this hotel is luxurious. Yet, inspired by Denver, it's comfortable and welcoming. They know how to make memories with special touches. Champagne and macaroons? Yes, please. I got to check out their full-service spa, which takes pampering to the next level. Hello from the spa at the Ritz-Carlton. And I am about to get in the hot tub. Wish me luck. I can't think of a better place to unwind in the Mile High City. Equally as notable is their restaurant and bar, Elway's. From handcrafted cocktails that change with the seasons, to happy hour nibbles like their famous lamb chops and an impressive cheese plate, it's a destination in and of itself. If you're looking for something a little less formal, the club lounge offers a nice break from the scene. We had sparkling hot chocolate and their famous black cow cookies, also known as root beer float cookies, that were to die for. Elegant and approachable, it's no wonder the Ritz-Carlton Denver is a sought-out spot for both visitors and locals. And as a bonus, we got to explore the brand new Gaylord Rockies. This cabin-inspired resort is also a convention center, and it's just huge. Almost like a city within a city, they have everything. From coffee shops to stores, even several bars, including the Mountain Pass Sports Bar. Very much of a sports theme here. Lots of little touches. We can see hockey pucks right down here. Um, and a really great use of space. What I love, take a look at that. There's also Gaylord classics like the old Hickory Steakhouse to new concepts like Vista Montaigne. Some restaurants even change throughout the day. 
which was something I'd never seen before, but a great way to keep options fresh. Then I discovered the arcade and the spa. Okay, so we just discovered the indoor pool, and then my favorite part, because, you know, I'm a child, the indoor slides! Oh, I so wish that I could be on those slides right now. Plus, the convention center really makes this a one-stop shop property. There's plenty of rooms and ballrooms equipped to handle an event or conference of any size. So there you have it, a few different ways to experience Denver. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned as we explore other cities.